Hi there, this is Kristen, your registered dietitian and health coach with Arizona Wellness Medicine, tuning in for a nutrition tip today. I wanted to discuss with you guys the three most common mistakes that I see clients make when transitioning from their current diet pattern to a paleo diet. Um, so we all know that this transition can be really difficult. I've done it myself and I just wanted to highlight some of the three mistakes that I see clients make in hopes that you won't make them too. Um, uh, number one, the most common mistake is searching for information on a paleo diet beyond what's been provided by your doctor. So in this case, we're given our beautiful laid out 30 day reset by Dr. Park. There's no need to deviate beyond that. There's a reason that all the terms of the plan are in there the way that they're in there. There's a reason why there's foods included and excluded, and there's no need to search for information beyond the 30 day reset. And that's not to say that the information you might be finding is incorrect. In fact, it might be perfectly correct. It's because there is information out there that's misleading or wrong. And rather than like mucking up the waters, it's better to just follow what's been given and don't search for anything beyond that. For example, some, some paleo diets allow white rice and stevia and a little bit of sweeteners as long as they're or sugars, as long as they're real, things like that. And we just wanna to stick to Dr. Park's 30 day reset for those initial first 30 days. So that's number one, don't search for information beyond what's been given. Number two is, and this is a most common one, I think all my all clients, and I did this myself, end up doing this, right, is we overcomplicate the diet. So my number one tip is when transitioning to paleo, especially in those first couple weeks, just take your current meal plat pattern and figure out how to make it paleo friendly. So I see clients all the time like go out and buy all the paleo friendly cookbooks and print recipes online and follow all these new blogs, which isn't a bad thing. And this might work for a lot of people, especially if you're a person who already spends a lot of time in the kitchen and you enjoy cooking off a recipe, then this, this message isn't for you. I'm talking about people like myself who like simple meals and then transition to paleo and buy all the cookbooks and think that they're gonna go from simple meal prep to Martha Stewart just because paleo, they made the paleo diet transition, right? Like that's not gonna work. Work. So don't overcomplicate it. Take your current meal pattern and then you can look for resources online or help online of how to make it paleo friendly. So that's number two. And then number three is we've all heard the saying fail to plan, plan to fail. It's so, so true with paleo. We've come a long way in 2018 with like there's paleo friendly options out there. They exist. I mean, really a paleo diet is just a whole food diet, you know, meat and vegetables and you're good and avoiding our industrial seed oils and stuff like that. But basically, if you can find meat and vegetables, you're good. However, if you're leaving the house, you forgot to eat breakfast, you have a long day ahead of you and you haven't already scoped out where to find like the paleo friendly options, you've kind of dug yourself in a hole. So my advice to you is always leave the house. Like I always have some sort of paleo friendly snack in my purse just to tide me over in case I do find myself in one of these situations. And just to give myself enough time and curb the hunger enough to get to a paleo friendly option, right? Um, so that's, that's my third piece of advice is always be prepared, always have scoped out, you know, I kind of joke that it's like searching for like the nearest hospital to your house, right? Like search for the nearest paleo friendly options. When you're in your grocery store, what are you looking for? You know, if you are close to work, find a Sprouts or Whole Foods or something close to work and know what you're gonna go in there for. Um, so number one, don't search for information beyond what your doctor's given you, at least not in those initial 30 days. Um, you're already flooded with information, so we don't want to make it even more complicated. Number two, don't overcomplicate meal time. Stick with your current diet pattern and just make it paleo friendly. So for example, if you eat spaghetti once a week, don't go for that paleo friendly coconut curry. Just go for a paleo friendly spaghetti, right? And then number three is plan. Always be prepared. Always have a plan. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for your nutrition tip. Bye.